KJ, Hi. you left me in the attic. Hmm. But I got the hat. I got them. You want to look at them? Yeah. All right, let's look at them. What's up guys, Coach Matt and you go pro baseball and I wanted to make a quick video to show you some of my baseball hat collection. I was cleaning up my office the other day and found a ton of hats, got them all lined up there. I've got more, I've got a whole bin more full of hats, teams I used to play with, companies I work with on you go pro baseball. That would be a cool, fun, quick little video. So let's get into it. I also got some uh, new merch, some you go pro baseball merch, coffee cups, little water bottles, these hats, obviously shirts, some sweatshirts, got some cool stuff coming out. I'm probably not gonna sell them, just gonna give it away to my friends and, and some of the guys that come on the channel. Maybe I'll do a giveaway. If you want me to do a giveaway with some of the merch, the coffee cups, the water bottles, the uh, hats, like these hats. If you want me to do a shirt giveaway, sweatshirt giveaway, I've got some masks coming in, you go pro masks. So if you want me to do a giveaway, let me know, comment below how I should do that. How are these cool Instagrammers and YouTubers doing giveaways these days? Leave a comment down below and let me know if you want me to do that and how I should do that. But let's get into it. Let me show you some of these hats. All right, first handful of hats. I've got, these aren't really hats. These are like headbands. I got these from Jump Band, I think they're called or something. Padres headband there, little pineapple headband. Then I've got, this is Mikey from the baseball club gave us these for when we're out on the field scouting because I scout for UCSA all American games and it gets hot out there. So we like to wear these, I don't know what you call these bucket hats or whatever. Um, I don't know where this came from. This one might be for my son. That's another little bucket hat. Got a towel trainer hat. I wear this one a lot. It's a comfy hat. Towel trainer is uh, just a training tool I sell on my website, uroprobaseball.com. She gone hitting, a little snap back. Jeff Fry, you guys know Jeff Fry from She Gone Hitting, your certified hitting guru. Made baseball, Isaac Hess, backyard batting cages, cage list. My buddy came on the channel, we shot a bunch of videos together. This is from a group that I'm in on Facebook. Former MLB and minor league baseball players. There's like almost 20,000 guys in there who have played baseball. It's a really cool group. Obviously you have to have had played professional baseball to be in there, but this is from there. Obviously you can see I wear this one a lot. It's pretty dirty, cool hat. This is from my buddy Tony in Berlin, Germany. I went to Berlin last year and did a camp, uh, a baseball camp in, in Berlin. And uh, this is his training school that he has going on there, really cool. U-Triple-S-A, like I mentioned, I'm a U-Triple-S-A All-American Scout, so I've got a U-Triple-S-A hat. I'm sure I've got a ton of U-Triple-S-A hats in here. This is uh, from a brand. They sent me this hat and this shirt. Cool shirt, cool hat. I gotta try the shirt on, I haven't tried it on yet. But yeah, cool brand, they're on Instagram. You can check them out. I'll leave their at below. Let's get some more hats. Oh, another made baseball hat. I think this was for my son. Isaac gave another one uh, for my son. Top Velocity. You guys know I did a bunch of videos with Top Velocity and Brent. So I got a ton, ton of hats from him. Shout out to Top Velocity. All American. So this is the All American hat. This is the program that I scout for at USSA. Um, this is one of my favorite hats. I wore the crap out of that hat, but it's pretty dirty now. This one is the Swingman. My buddy Jeremy, this is his brand. It's a Stinger hat, really great Stinger hat. Uh, you guys have seen probably my Stinger glove, but this is his hat, his brand, really cool stuff. So go over to Stinger and check him out. He's also on Instagram. I believe it's at the Swingman. So check him out. This is a 180 Performance Center. I did a bunch of videos with my buddy Dustin Geiger out in Texas, Leander, Texas. Really, this, I love this freaking hat, man. What kind of hat is this? Because I love it. Pro Flex by Outdoor Cap. One of my favorite hats. Fits really well, just high quality. I love Love the logo and the stitching. Really, really cool hat. And check them out if you're in the Austin, Texas area. They're out that way. Super cool hat. This is the, the, the actual facility that I went to in Berlin. Berlin Brandenburg Baseball Academy, the BBBA. That was another hat I got from them. WBSC, I'm a technical commissioner for WBSC. It's the World Baseball and Softball Confederation. I went and worked in Shanghai, China for the Olympic qualifier for the softball, fast pitch softball. I also went to, where did I go to? Taiwan, Tainan, Taiwan. And that was for the 12U World Championship. So that was really cool seeing those youngsters playing baseball, especially traveling all the way to Taiwan, which was awesome. Taiwan was super cool. This one I got from a mailman on vacation. I met him at a bar and I told him I really liked his hat and we became friends by the end of the night and he gave me his hat. So. This is a random one. Love that hat though. This is a hat from uh, Team Go Hard, Eric Burns. I bought his foot reflexology board. 
I bought the hat along with it. So shout out to Eric Burns. Um, you guys know who he is. Big league, former big leaguer. Got a lot of stuff going on. U-Triple-S-A Europe. This is from a lot of the guys from Berlin played on this U-Triple-S-A Europe team. So I went out to the fields when they were down here in Florida and they hooked me up with this hat. It's a really cool hat. Fernando Cortez uh, out in Temecula, California. He's got cool facility. We shot a bunch of videos together. Really cool dude, man. I love that guy so much. Super sick hat too. I love his. If you check out some of the videos we did, his facility, his little cages there that he's got set up, the way he's got it set up with his logo in the middle and the back. Uh, it's so cool. Like if I ever had a, a facility again that's how i would probably make my cages tyrus baseball i did a video on their pine tar and their grip products really cool hat they've all their stuff like i've got some shirts and pullovers and stuff from them all their stuff is super high quality even obviously their pine tar is too super super high quality stuff so check them out tyrus baseball really good stuff let me get some more hats <laughs> another utrecht say baseball hat just one of my go-to's black this one is dig me dig me Live, dream, be Ray Dig, Ray Dig Me, uh, former professional baseball player. Came up with a brand. I used to wear this brand. He had a lot of friends in the Mets organization when I was playing with the Mets. And he used to come down and sell his shirts and hats and stuff like that. So I would buy it. And he was like making those real nice feeling shirts before anybody else was. And he was selling them for like 20 bucks. So I used to buy the crap out of his shirts when he would come down to spring training. And he was just selling them to his friends. And I just happened to have mutual friends of his. So I got to buy a lot of his stuff. We kept up. He actually gave me this hat I wore it in a couple of videos uh, that I did. But shout out, Ray Dig Me. Team Defender. You guys know Team Defender. It's a it's a catcher's protection glove that I sell on my website, yougoprobaseball.com. Um, it's basically for catchers. It's got a hard thumb piece in there. I got one right here. Hold on one second. So it's got a hard thumb piece in there. So this is the thumb piece. Hard. And it's got padding on the palms right here. Some nice padding on the fingers. So catchers, they put this on their catching hand and they wear it underneath their glove so they don't get that thumb hyperextended. Like if you got a pitcher that's throwing real hard, you don't hyperextend that thumb, you're not gonna hurt that thumb. A lot of guys come and buy these after they injure their thumb. This is preventative. So if you're a catcher, you need to have one of these before you get hurt, <laughs> all right? Check these out, they're on yougoprobaseball.com. Um, this is the Pro Series model. We have a standard model, both the same price. The only difference is the standard model, the thumb guard is a little bit harder. And the Pro Series model, this one, has 20% more padding on the fingers and the palm. It also has double stitching, like at the finger, so you can cut the fingertips off if you wanted to, because some catchers prefer that. So that's the Team Defender right there. Got another Team Defender hat, two Team Defender hats. So uh, really cool uh, catching product. Any catchers watching this, definitely go get one. Another Tyrus hat, super high quality. Tyrus hat, love those, check them out. And this is a Bullet Club hat. Actually, this is a, this might be a, a G.O.D. hat. Gorillas of Destiny Bullet Club hat. Two of my best friends ever are professional wrestlers in New Japan, they, they wrestle in Japan. And this is their, their hat, they're part of the Bullet Club. In fact, they started the Bullet Club. They were like the OG members. If you guys are into pro wrestling, you guys know what the Bullet Club is. Uh, another WBSC hat, same one. Another USA hat. Now, let me go find, I've got a whole bin of hats that for of teams that I used to play with. Let me go find those. I think they're in the attic. So I was about to head into the uh, attic here in the garage and I found some more hats here. So we got another Digney hat right here. This one's a Digney hat. Shout out Ray Digney. Marucci, Abo Baseball Bats. That's actually the shirt that I'm wearing right now. Abo Bats, shout out. Really cool hat. I like it, the black on black with the little Canadian leaf right there. Omir Santos, former MLB player. He was running camps for a while, training guys, had a facility out here in Kissimmee, Florida. And sidearmnation.com, Jeff Freeborn. If you guys are sidearm pitchers, go check them out, sidearmnation.com. I'm going up on the roof. I'm going in the attic. I gotta go get my hats, okay? So just watch out your finger and keep pointing it at me. KJ, what? you left me in the attic, hmm. but I got the hat. I got them. Hmm. You want to look at them? Yeah. All right, let's look at them. I'll let you pull them out. Wow. They're my hats. Yeah, let's see them. Show them. So the first one I got is a Chinese Taipei hat. I bought this over in uh, when I was in Taiwan. 
working the 12U World Baseball with the World uh, Baseball Softball Confederation, WBSC, that's another one. They gave us these hats. This was the U12 Baseball World Cup. That's what I was over there for. Really cool event, awesome stuff. This was Berlin Brandenburg Baseball Academy. I went over and did a camp in Germany, in Berlin, Germany. That was a hat that I got from there. My Auburn hat, actually this is just a, this is not one that was given to me at Auburn. I think I just bought this one, but I played baseball at Auburn, so. This is not a bad hat. I need to break this one back out. I don't know why it was in the attic. I'm gonna leave this one out. This one was given to me at Auburn. The strength of Auburn baseball. It's got my number on it. I don't even remember this hat. Some of these hats are old, man. I don't even know if I wore this. It looks brand new. That's pretty cool. This is a Seminole Raiders hat, my community college. This one has been worn. Juco World Series, we went to, we made it to the Juco World Series, Seminole State University. Great team, great players, a lot of great memories. Dirty hat. Lake Elsinore Storm, this was in Lake Elsinore, California, high A pro baseball. San Diego Padres, I was drafted by the Padres. The Lake Elsinore Storm was an affiliate of the Padres. Binghamton Mets, this is when I was rule fived over to the Mets organization. Binghamton is their double A team in Binghamton, New York. Another Padres hat, a lot of old hats in here. Fort Wayne Wizards, this is Fort Wayne, Indiana. This is low A for the Padres. This was a company, I think it was Primal Baseball. I did some stuff with, they have some batting gloves and stuff. U-Triple-S-A Baseball, you guys know that. S30 program with U-Triple-S-A. Actually, I'm not sure if they're doing it anymore, but it's, it's called, it was called the Select 30 with U-Triple-S-A. Another uh, Berlin Bradenburg Baseball Academy. This one's brand new, it looks like. Softball Saskatchewan. One of the guys I was working with at the WBSC, he gave me this hat, really cool guy. We worked together as technical commission and uh, he gave me this hat, this is where he works at. Blast Motion, Fort Wayne Wizards, another one, low A for the Padres, another, another Fort Wayne Wizard hat. Indians, I don't know why the heck I have this hat. Must have traded with somebody who was an Indians fan. This was just a blank hat. I actually had my friend wear this hat when we were shooting pictures for the first pitching program I made. FCAA State Baseball Champions 2003. This is the state championship, the tournament that we won to go to the Junior College World Series. Eugene Emerald, short season for the San Diego Padres in Eugene, Oregon. Great time, first professional season. A lot of good friends. Los Angeles hat, I don't know why I have this one either. This is, I think this is a Fire, Fire Frogs hat. Fire Frogs is a minor league team in Kissimmee, about 35 minutes from where I live. Lake Elsinore Storm hat. This is a Slump Buster hat. <laughs> do you know what a Slump Buster is? If you do, leave a comment down below. A slump Buster. San Diego Padres hat. I hope you guys are seeing this okay. I'm not looking at the camera. Hopefully, hopefully these aren't blurred. Anything San Diego Padres. Another Lake Elsinore Storm hat, different style. Seminole Community College Raiders, a New York hat. This looks small, maybe this is my son's, I don't know. I don't know where the heck that came from, but I think this box has been in the attic way before he was born, so I'm not sure where that hat came from. Look at this old Auburn hat, man. This was a gamer. This was one of our uh, gamers, TPX. Look at how dirty this thing is. Ugh. Nasty, but that was a gamer right there. We got a bunch of hats at Auburn, like game hats. This is just a white hat. I guess I used to wear a lot because this thing is filthy too, Under Armour. New York Mets hat, got this in spring training. This is pretty gross too. We used to obviously wore that all spring training. What the heck's in there? But tore up. Grand Canyon, Corona Extra. Another Mets hat from spring training. Another Auburn gamer. TPX, these things are gross, man. I'm gonna smell it. I don't know if I should do this, but it doesn't smell bad. Maybe it's just had years of sitting up in the attic, so the stank went out of it. Another Padres hat, another Under Armour hat. This was one of my, I used to wear this all, all the time. This Under Armour hat, just a black Under Armour hat. Bill Mon, black. I think this was my wife's hat. I don't think I ever wore this thing in my life. I don't even know if that could do it. And oh, another Fort, it's like a Fort Wayne Wizard bucket hat. Got the Pella, Pella suppliers, I don't know what that is. And then a little sweatband, a little Under Armour sweatband. That's it, that's all I got. That's my hat collection. Hope you guys like, what was your favorite? Let me know. I'd love to hear about your hat collection. Talk to you in the next video.